Annex A, Calculating Yearly Inflation from Monthly Figures. In this section, we briefly look at the issue of how to annualize inflation or how to turn a monthly figure into a yearly figure. It is important to understand why we cannot just take the monthly figure and multiply it by 12. Suppose that the price level is 100 in January and 105 in February. In that case, what is inflation in February? Remember that to figure this out, we use our growth formula. Now suppose that we multiplied 5% by 12 to get the annual inflation. We would get 60% as our annual inflation figure, right? If we use this figure, then we would get the following for the CPI at the end of the year. The problem with doing this is that it assumes that each month we are taking 5% of our original 100, which is equal to 5, and then adding it to the CPI. But as we know, we are actually taking 5% of a bigger number each month. In February, that number is 105. What will the price index be in March if there is again 5% inflation? And then in March, if there is 5% inflation, we will get... Now, you can see that if we used our initial idea of just multiplying 5% by the number of months, we would get a different answer, because we would be adding 5 each month. So instead of 110.25 in March, we would get 110. And in April, instead of 115.7625, we would get 115. These may seem like small differences, but they can add up over time. Therefore, the correct way of annualizing inflation numbers is to use a formula which takes into consideration the growth in the base each month. This formula can be derived from the example above. In the second month, February, we calculated... We can rewrite this as... Now, in March, we did... But this can also be rewritten as... Yet, we can now go further because 110.25 can be rewritten based on the previous equation to be... Notice, however, that we now have the term 1 plus 0 0.05 repeated. So we can go further and rewrite this as... Now, if we go back to January, we can even substitute out the 105, which we know is actually equal to 100 times 1 plus 0 0.05. So this becomes... Now use our online inflation calculator to do your own calculations.